In this video, we're going to look at drawing improper fractions. An improper fraction is where the numerator or the top number is bigger than the denominator or the bottom number. Now, before we go on, let's quickly look back at what a unit fraction is. So this is an example of a unit fraction, one half. The reason you can call this a unit fraction is because the numerator or the top number is one. So any fraction with a one at the top is a unit fraction. We've also looked at this type of fraction where the numerator, the top number is smaller than the denominator or the bottom number. These are proper fractions. In this video, we revise or go back over some work we've done before, which is improper fractions. Now, an improper fraction is like this. The numerator or the top number is bigger than the denominator or the bottom number. For this exercise, I want you to name these fractions and then I want you to draw these fractions. The first fraction is 5 thirds, so I'm going to draw a pizza, there's the centre, and I'm going to cut it into three equal parts. That's because the denominator or the bottom number is 3. So how do we do thirds? It's a Mercedes sign. So there's the first part and I'm going to cut this into three equal parts. So one and two more lines. So I have one, two, three equal parts. Now, if you look at the top number or the numerator, I want five. I've only got one, two, three. So what I have to do is I have to go back to the shop and get another pizza. So there's my second pizza. And I have to do the same thing, cut it into three equal parts because I want both the pizzas to have the same size pieces. So Mercedes sign for my third. So I've got two pizzas that have been cut into thirds and I want now five pieces. So I had one, two, three, four, five. So let me shade the five pieces in so it's easier to see. So now I have shaded in five thirds. I want you to notice that five thirds is equivalent to or equal to or same value as one whole pizza so I'm going to do a big one and two thirds so there's my fraction line the bottom number is always how many pieces I've got one two three pieces and I've shaded in one two so that goes at the top so five thirds is equal to or equivalent to one and two thirds. The next fraction is five quarters or five fourths, you'll hear some people say. So let me start, I'm going to draw my pizza, there's the centre, and I need to cut each pizza into four equal pieces because the denominator is four. So I need to halve it and I need to halve it again. So now I have one, two, three, four pieces, but I need five. Here's another pizza. So I'm going to halve it. And I'm going to halve it again. And I need five pieces. So let me just count those. One, two, three, four. And I need one from here to make it five. So I've shaded the five pieces so you can see visually that it's going to be one whole pizza 
and one quarter of this pizza. So I can say five quarters is equal to or equivalent to or the same as one whole pizza that's the big one and one quarter so I do one over four the third fraction is five halves so let me draw my first pizza And I'm going to cut that into two equal pieces because the denominator or the bottom number is two. Now I need five pieces because the numerator is five, but I only have one, two. So I need to go back, get another pizza and cut that into two equal pieces because I want the same size pieces in this pizza as I've got in that pizza. So now I have one, two, three, four pieces. But if you look, the numerator is five. So I need to go back and get another pizza and cut that into two. So I'm going to halve it. And I want five pieces. So let me shade them in as I'm going along. One, two, three, four, and five. So I've now got five halves. And if you look carefully, I've got one whole pizza, two whole pizzas, and half a pizza. So I can say five halves is equal to or equivalent to two whole pizzas, that's one, two, and this one half here. So I've got two and a half pizzas. I want you to pay attention to this, the word half and the word half. This word here is a noun. It's the name of a thing. This word here is a verb and it's a doing word. Let me give you an example of this. I have an apple. I'm going to cut it into two equal pieces and I'm going to eat this piece. So this piece is half an apple. So this is your noun because that's the name of that half of the apple. So let's move to this. There's my apple. And what I'm going to do because this is a doing word, I'm going to halve it. So the cutting of this apple, I'm going to halve it. So the word halve is, let me write this down. It's the cutting off. In this case, we're cutting the apple. And once I've halved it, I'm going to eat this half. So remember, half is a noun. Half is a verb. And to make it even crazier, if I've got lots of halves, I don't say halves, I say halves. So I can say to you, please give me five halves. So you will give me five halves. 